Hello Year 8. Okay, so the last couple of lessons we looked at how metals react with acids. And we could see that some metals were more reactive, they react more quickly, uh, they release more energy. Some metals were less reactive. We're now going to move on and have a look at how metals react with other things. And in this lesson we're going to look at how metals react with oxygen. We should start to see a pattern building up where things that reacted most vigorously, vigorously with acid also do with other things so that we can always have this order a list of the metals from most reactive to least reactive and that's called the reactivity series we're going to start off we've got five metals that i'm going to get to react with oxygen in the air to make them react with oxygen in the air we need to heat them up um, we are going to start off with copper okay so Copper, it's this orangey copper, copper coloured metal, make pipes out of it. You'll remember from when we put it with the acids that it did not make hydrogen gas, okay? And see what happens, see if I can get it to react with oxygen from the air. Put my blue flame on, put my copper in the hottest part of the flame, see what happens. See the end of it is glowing orangey red because it's got so hot. But my sheet of copper, still the same size, doesn't look like much is happening. Take it out. See. Instead of being copper coloured, it has gone this sort of grey colour in the end where I put it in the flame. Okay. But that's only affected the outside edge. I can scrape that bit off and I can get to the copper again underneath. So the copper's reacted with oxygen a little bit. It's made this grey layer of copper oxide. But only the very outside of it did it, and it didn't do it very excitingly. So copper will react with oxygen to make copper oxide. It's pretty slow. Next thing we're going to look at is iron. I've got this wire wall here, and that is just made of iron atoms drawn out into threads. You know, my dad might have used it to scrape old paint off. I'm going to put that in and see what happens. It's roaring flame, nice and hot. See, that's reacting much faster than the copper. Tiny little bits are falling off it. Edge of it, it's been in the flame that dark colour. So iron will react with oxygen as well and that darker area is iron oxide. It's iron atoms that have got oxygen atoms bonded to them. We can do something quite fun with the iron. Our copper was a flat solid sheet, cheated a bit by having the wire wall, it's got a bigger surface area, it will react faster. Iron is used in uh, sparklers and fireworks and if we increase the surface area of things we make reactions happen faster. So what we've got here is some iron filings, this is ground up iron into almost a little powder. I sprinkle my own filing into a bunch of clay. You should see little sparkles. That's how sparkles look with iron filings. And a nice demonstration of increasing surface area increases reaction. Tiny little filings react much faster than the wire wall. But they made exactly the same thing. The tiny little bits that have fallen down around the Bunsen burner, that's iron oxide too. Now we've got zinc. So 
no zinc, silvery metal, sheet the same as the copper, put that in and see what happens to that. So the zinc's reacting much faster than the copper. You can see it's burning. With an orangey flame. If you take it out of the heat, it won't react with the oxygen in the air. Put it back in. You can see that actually a huge amount of my zinc has reacted in a really short time. And it's made down here this powdery stuff that's called zinc oxide. So it's reacted with the oxygen in the air. The oxygen atoms have joined onto the zinc and it's made a solid called zinc oxide. So we started with copper, pretty unreactive, thin layer of oxide on it. Went through iron, had our nice sparkly twinkles, zinc, much more reactive than the metals we've seen before. Zinc is less reactive than magnesium. Um, that's the last thing that we're going to see what will happen. Okay. So magnesium, got it here in a ribbon, again, another metal. Magnesium was the metal that reacted really vigorously with our acid. Uh, so we'll see. I would expect if it reacts vigorously with acid, it will react vigorously with oxygen as well. Okay. I'm not sure how well this is going to work on the video, but we shall try it and find out. It takes a moment to get going. Okay. Right. So. you will have seen that uh, that reacted really quickly with a very bright flame and it's made this tiny white powder magnesium oxide but it reacted faster than any of the others <laughs> 